So we're going to look at disproportionation reactions. And these are a type of redox reaction where a compound which is in an intermediate oxidation state forms products in a different oxidation state, which is higher and lower. So if we use this representation for a disproportionation reaction, if we start with A, which has some oxidation number, let's say N. Now when the reaction happens, the products formed with A will usually have different oxidation states in which one is greater than N and one is less than N. So for A, it is going from an intermediate oxidation state to a higher oxidation state and a lower oxidation state as the reaction happens. So let's take an example of a reaction in which this happens. And here you can see that tin, which is in the form of SN2 plus is going to SN4 plus. And here, since this is in free state, the oxidation number will be zero. So in one case, the oxidation number has reduced from two to zero. And in the other case, it has increased from two to four. So this reaction is an example of a disproportionation reaction. And interestingly, this was also the first disproportionation reaction that was ever studied in the late 1700s. Now let's take one more example, which is this reaction of H3PO3 decomposing to give H3PO4 and PH3. So now let's look at the oxidation state of phosphorus in all three of these. So we know that the oxidation state for hydrogen is plus one and for oxygen, it is usually minus two. And we know that this is a neutral species. So the sum of all the oxidation numbers should be zero. So we can write down three times the oxidation number of hydrogen, which is one plus the oxidation number of phosphorus. Let's say it is X plus the oxidation number of oxygen, which is three times minus two should be equal to zero. So if you solve for X here, you get X to be plus three. So the oxidation state of this phosphorus is plus three. Now, if we consider the case of H3PO4, again, we know that hydrogen will be plus one and oxygen will be minus two. So we can write down three times the oxidation number of hydrogen, which is one plus, let's say the oxidation number is X in the case of this phosphorus plus four times minus two should be equal to zero because this is a neutral species. So if you again solve for X here, we get X to be plus five. Now in the last case, which is of pH three, we know that hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one and there are three hydrogens here. So which means phosphorus here has an oxidation state of minus three. So in this case, phosphorus went from a plus three state to plus five in one case and it reduced to minus three in the other case, which is why this reaction is also an example of a disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reactions like these are mostly observed in cases where one of the species shows variable oxidation states. So let's see some more examples of this. Apart from phosphorus, sulfur also shows multiple oxidation states. So like here, if we look at the oxidation numbers of sulfur, here it will be zero because it is a free species. Now here, let's say we want to calculate what will be the oxidation number of sulfur. Let's say it is X. So we have two X plus three times the oxidation number of oxygen, which is negative two is equal to the charge here, which is minus two. So if you solve for X, you get X equal to plus two. So that means the oxidation state of sulfur here is plus two. And here, since the charge is two negative, the oxidation state of sulfur is as it is minus two. So we have sulfur going from zero to plus two that is increasing and zero to minus two that is decreasing. And so this also is an example of a disproportionation reaction. One more example is of chlorine in this reaction. So again, if we were to look at the oxidation numbers, chlorine goes from zero here to minus one in this case. And for this chlorine, let's say the oxidation number is X. We have X plus three times minus two, which should add up to the charge of the anion, which is minus one. So if we solve for X, we get X to be plus five. So this chlorine will have an oxidation number of plus five. So again, in this case also, chlorine goes from zero to minus one in one case, and in the other, it increases from zero to five, which makes this also a disproportionation reaction.